Hi viewers, today I'm going to replace a battery on 2013 Camry Hybrid. The battery on this Hybrid Camry, it starts from later 2012 to 2017. So I'm going to show you how to check the code first. I'm going to put the scanner on. Press the button twice. All the lights will come on. Scanner. Go to Toyota, Australia, vehicles. Two thousand thirteen Camry Hybrid. So I'm going to hybrid control and codes only current codes. So this is the code that is telling me P0A80 replace hybrid battery pack. So I'm going to clear this code now. So no more codes. Turn off the car. Now I'm going to disconnect the 12 volt battery first. This is high voltage interlock switch. So hold this from here and pull towards right side. Pull it towards your side now and it came out. Now your battery is safe. Now you can work on the battery. Now we're gonna remove this passenger seat from the rear compartment. Hold this from here, pull it out. Same thing, hold it here. is a, a puller that has been broken but we're gonna hold this one and pull this out now i'm going to take this one out and there is a cable as well pull this one hold this down now take this off there is a clip one here before taking these clips off you need to take these rests out on both sides there is a bolt underneath and pull this up, this will come out and the same on the other side. If you can see this one, this is the uh, duct that supplies air to the fan and the fan keeps the battery cool, but if this happens, that is gonna reduce the life of the battery. That was the main issue. Toyota recommends that you have to clean this after every third to fourth service. So this guy haven't done the hybrid battery servicing. So that's why his battery blown up too early. This duct, this has three quick release pin clips. One, two, and third one is here. So let's take this out. That's the impeller fan and it was not getting enough air because the inlet was blocked and it blown up the battery. So now I'm gonna take these clips off. Remove this one. And there is one more clip underneath here. So I have got one, two, and three 10 mil bolts and this clip. So I'm going to just take this off with the trim puller. Lift this panel up. Now I have the positive. This is negative.
So this has a clip on the side. If you can see, press this clip and pull it out. And I have another cable coming here to the high power relay. So this has a clip here. Just pull it out with the trim collar. So this is done. And on the other side, we have two plugs. One plug is here and the second plug is here. Now lift this up a little bit, just a little bit, not too much and slide it on the seat. Now I can show you the bolts, one, two, three and four. I have two bolts at the back, one is here and one is here. Now the battery is ready to come out. You just have to hold it from here, slide it out. And now you need two people to lift this battery out of the trunk because this battery weight is uh, 50 around 55 kilos so you need two people to lift it up and put it on a safe place this is out and you have one clip here and one clip on the other side just slide it outside now I'm going to take this plug for the fan out you have a clip here press it down and pull it out uh, three 10 mil nuts holding up the fan the fan is out now you have to remove this cover and the battery voltage sensor and the high voltage relay so i'm going to do the high voltage relay first the battery has been discharged by removing the high voltage plug. That's called high voltage interlock plug as well. So this has been off. So take this plug out and there is a clip here. Take, take the clip out and you have two 8 mil bolts there. These are 8 mil special bolts that are gonna go on the next battery. Now the relay is holding up with three bolts. Now I'm going to show you how to remove the other panel. Take this bolt off and take the voltage sensor plug out and take this bolt out and take this bolt out. To take this out, put this gently and fill it. Now put your hands in there and take this battery temperature sensor out see the clips on the sides you have to press them in and take it out so slide it out this is out this panel and this panel doesn't come with the new battery so you have to use the voltage sensor as well from the old battery as I showed you how to remove the relay same as the voltage sensor so that's it this battery is going back into the box and we send it back to Toyota